We just got dropped off here by our new taxi friend. Gordon is not speaking because he's very sick. I'm feeling so hot. We, we slept on the farm last night and we are waiting on our bus to Berat, but apparently we have to flag the bus. A small bus that says Saranda in 20 minutes and we have the bus driver's phone number. <laughs> we're just in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Some intersection. But we're going to Berat. I think that's our bus. Hi guys, it has been three days since we arrived to Berat. We have been super sick. We had some kind of like stomach flu or something heat related. We have no idea, but we basically slept for 48 hours straight. But today we're feeling a lot better. So we're heading to the city center. We're gonna meet with our walking tour guide. We usually don't film during these, but today we're gonna do our best to like share with you like what we we'll learn along the way. And yeah, let's go to the city center. We cannot wait to show you this beautiful town. Like I can't state this enough, like the city is stunning. Let's go. So romantic, huh? A very romantic city. You would think so. Everyone's like holding like arms like that, locking arms, but it is so like inclined. Is that the word? It's so inclined slippery. Inclined old stones are just so slippery. <laughs> just from the wear and Even tear. Even the cars like slip like going up. It's crazy. You did it. I just said this is the first time my knees hurt going down. My birthday is in five days. I'm turning 35. In five days, my niece, I know it. So we start first, I want to say you thank you so much for coming on my tour. My name is Bruno, I'm born and I raised it here in Berat. So we just learned that Berat is 2400 years old and the city is like split into two sides like a Muslim quarter and a Christian quarter by a river and right now we're in the Christian quarter and we're visiting one of the most important churches in all of Albania and in Berat. So during communist periods they removed the heads from all these frescoes and during the communist period they didn't allow to practice religion so they're indicating to the people here that if you do practice religion that they would end your life. Cut your head off. Freaky times. We lost our group. It looks like the tour is ending within the castle walls, which is perfect because this is where we're staying. So we're ready to the climb up and we're gonna end it with this beautiful sunset. And tomorrow we're gonna take you somewhere that we're very excited to visit because Vedat is also famous for its wine. And it's gonna be 110 degrees. So it's great. Yeah. White rose wine weather, all rose all day. We'll see you tomorrow. I don't know why Albania is not more famous for its sunsets. It will be. Do you know? Once After you watch videos. our videos. <laughs> Hey guys, we are about to head to the winery, but before we do that, we wanted to show you our incredible Airbnb. It's actually one of our favorites, if not the favorite Airbnb that we've had here in Albania. So we're about to show you. The only slight downside is that these stones within the castle are super slippery, which makes for some interesting walks down. Come on in. So right when you walk in, we have this small foyer, and then you come in to the main living area. We have a nice functional kitchen, our living space with two couches. I might have spent like 36 hours here when she was sick. And we have all these cool details, like all these antiques, a fireplace, which we're definitely not using because it's like 105 degrees today and there's no AC in this room. But best of all is the view. And now let's check out our cool and very comfortable bedroom. We have this large cozy bed, the second bed, which we always appreciate. 
for an extra working spot or just putting our clothes, dirty clothes. And as you can see, we have these very cool looking stone walls and that's because we're actually staying within the old castle on top of Badat. I think I mentioned that before. But actually, this isn't like a traditional castle that you might picture when you think of like European castles. It's more of like a fortress. And the people here lived within the fortress, so this is almost like an old Ottoman home. No Airbnb tour is complete without showing you the bathroom. So here it is. Pretty basic. But one of the first non-wet showers that we've had in a very long time. So that has been appreciated. Yeah, that's very nice. And now, it's wine o'clock. wine that is nicknamed the Berat wine because they use the grape that only grows in this region and also Berat is nicknamed the white city so this is why we can so delicious it's very unique actually like I don't think I've ever tried like wine that tastes like this but in the best possible way and pleasantly surprised we've had like decent wines here but this winery is pretty good Okay. Well, either way, we're not really wine connoisseurs, so if it's cold, I'll like it today. And they're both, they both seem cold, so it is very nice. It's, it's delicious. I taste some, some white wine. So the girl that gave us the tour, like, just came to, like, check in on us. And she's like, oh, which one's your favorite? And I'm like, oh, like, this one. And then I think about it, and I'm like, the wine I'm drinking in the moment, it's actually my favorite wine, so now this one's done. So now... This one's my favorite. <laughs> Isn't it so fun to do like a wine tasting tour with two people that know nothing about wine? Cheers! Then you also have some uh, Kachkaval cheese, which is made from sheep milk. Oh. Because it has a stronger flavor, it goes better with the Okay, wine. okay, perfect. Cheers! Perfect. Enjoy! Cheers. Thank Thank you so much. <laughs> So the sun came down a bit, so we decided to move back outside. It's now very comfortable outside. Overall, we had a very nice experience here. We had a tour to start with, and we learned that this is a family winery that started with the grandfather who had a passion for wine. But then during the communist dictatorship, he obviously had to give that up. But once the dictatorship ended, he was able to revive that passion and bring the family business together. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> but it's really cool. It was a really good story. <laughs> Stick with me. <laughs> I'm still going. Oh, also, the tasting experience is really cool too because they do like third pours, so we've had like four wines, and obviously, I'm hammered. <laughs> We're gonna order one more bottle. We're not gonna finish it, but we are celebrating because today we booked tickets to our next destination, which is. Are you gonna tell them? Don't tell them. Okay. No, tell them. Portugal. <laughs> We're going to Portugal in September. We're heading back to town. It was a really, really nice idea to get a taxi. So he just like took us like back and forth, waited for us there for like two and a half hours. And it was like $25 or so. So you can't really get a taxi from the winery because it's just like basically like a house or private property on like the outskirts of town. So getting a taxi is a good idea if you don't have a car because you don't have to worry about driving after drinking all the wine. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than renting a car. But we're now we're going back to the city center of Bedat and we're going to have dinner in a beautiful restaurant that has a really, really nice sunset view. So it turns out that the restaurant with a view is actually just a bar and we've had enough alcohol for today so we decided not to go and we ended up in this beautiful patio so this is where we're going to have dinner and say goodbye to Barat. Sorry if it seemed like we were just winging today's video. We were doing just that. That's what happens when you're sick for 48 hours and don't really have time to prepare. But hope it was at least entertaining. Tomorrow we go to a new city. We head to northern Albania to a town called Shkoder. We don't really know what's going on there, but we do know that it's Aymana's birthday on the 27th. So we have a celebration. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Barat, please leave them in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in Shkoder. Bye. Bye.